Hi everyone and welcome back to Ben Builds. In today's video um, I'm going to be doing a collaboration with Home and Garden for Mere Mortals where we're basically putting together um, a collaborative video showing how we all decided to carve our pumpkins. Now rather than do something with electronics this time um, I thought I would do something instead with the next best thing which is fire. So we're going to be carving this pumpkin and um, filling it full of methyl alcohol and borax which is going to make green fire. So we're essentially going to make a very spooky green Halloween jack-o'-lantern. Let's get started. Okay, so go ahead and start by cutting off the top of the pumpkin. Um, you can do that by going around the inside with a sharp knife. And uh, once you've done that, you can cut off all of these string things that are dangling from the top right here and um, start by scooping out all of the insides of the pumpkin, like so. So go ahead and carve the pumpkin any way you want. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is uh, prepare the green fire, and you're going to be able to do that by using this. Um, this is heat, gas line, antifreeze, and water remover, but essentially what this is is you can pick it up at any auto parts store, and um, it's essentially just methyl alcohol. If you look back here, it says danger poison contains methyl alcohol. So this is the kind that you want, and it's essentially just pure methyl alcohol. You're going to want to mix it with some borax, and uh, borax is also known as sodium borate. So the actual sodium borate, or the boron ions, in the borax are actually going to be giving the flame its green color. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix up um, a little bit of this gas line antifreeze remover, or methyl alcohol, in, uh, in this container right here, and um, add about a tablespoon of borax to it. Okay, so once you've added the methyl alcohol and borax, go ahead and uh, just stir it together and try and get as much of the borax into solution with the methyl alcohol as possible. You're obviously not going to want to get everything into solution, um, as this amount of borax is certainly in excess. Um, but this will ensure that there's plenty of boron ions to give the fire its green color. Okay, so once you have your pumpkin carved the way you like it, you're going to want to take some aluminum foil and line the bottom. Try and rip the aluminum foil into a semi-circular shape just by pulling off the corners. The reason we want to line the bottom of the pumpkin with aluminum foil is because when we add the methyl alcohol and borax mixture, we don't want it just soaking into the pumpkin. We want it to stay on top of the aluminum foil. Okay, so once the foil is in place, you can take your methyl alcohol and borax mixture, stir it up one last time before you pour it on top of the aluminum foil. Now go ahead and take your lighter and light it. And as you can see, there's green fire. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little Halloween project. Make sure that you're very safe with this fire. Um, pumpkins are made mostly of water, so they won't burn right away but you wanna make sure that you don't leave this fire unattended for long periods of time. So thanks everyone again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, feel free to click the subscribe button and check out some of my other videos.